what's going on guys living good zombies here back with another pokemon go video and in today's video guys we are talking about the new galarian expedition event this event yes it did drop the shiny galar birds finally here in pokemon go so yeah i know a lot of people are chasing these shiny legendary pokemon so let's talk about everything you guys need to know about the galarian birds in pokemon go so of course to get a galar bird spawn guys it is always going to be a rare chance it's not easy to get a galar bird spawn but they do spawn off of your daily adventure incense now with this daily adventure incense guys you do get 15 minutes of spawns and remember with the daily adventure incense to get the most spawns possible out of the incense you do have to be continuously moving on the daily adventure incense that's why they call it an adventure incense because you're constantly adventuring around you're constantly moving so yeah if you guys are constantly moving you should be getting a spawn roughly every one minute now 15 minutes is not a long time there is a way to pause the timer and keep that duration of incense spawns going and that's by using war of time on origin dialga it is an adventure effect on dialga that does pause the timers of incenses star pieces lucky eggs whatever so yeah that adventure effect is going to pause that duration timer of the incense thus giving you more spawns more time to get more spawns off that daily incense and of course with more time obviously does mean a better chance to at least get one galar bird spawn now a lot of people have been asking two main questions with these shiny galarian birds what is the shiny rate of a galar bird the shiny rate it should be like any other legendary pokemon and i believe it definitely is because i've seen multiple screenshots already of shiny galar birds shiny rate on the galar birds is again like any other legendary one in 20 shiny rate so it does still have that big boosted shiny rate so yeah when you get a galar bird spawn you do have a pretty good chance of that spawn being a shiny and now the other question is when you encounter a shiny galar bird can that shiny galar bird run away the answer is no as long as you have enough pokeballs to catch that bird and also if your game doesn't crash by the way then yeah, that Galar bird is not going to run away. But like I said, and I've said it before too in prior videos, the catch rate on the Galar birds is still going to be low, but the flea rate is going to be 0%. So it has no chance to run, but it still has a pretty high chance to break out of multiple Pokeballs, even Ultra Balls with Golden Raspberries. It could keep on breaking out quite a few times. I do know someone today, it took them about 30 to 40, I think, Great Balls to catch their shiny galarian articuno now if you do somehow run out of pokeballs do remember when you hit the pokeball icon there is a shopping bag at the top right corner that leads you to the shop and you guys can buy some pokeballs in the shop to keep on trying to keep on using on that galar bird to hopefully catch it so do remember that but hopefully you guys do not run out of pokeballs hopefully you do have enough to catch a shiny galar bird if you guys do encounter one so yeah these are some of the screenshots i've seen in game of the shiny galar birds for the moltres zapdos and articuno so yeah their shinies are definitely enabled and they do look super good i do like all three of them i think articuno is my favorite however but yeah all three have been confirmed to be turned on in the game so like i said guys keep using that daily incense every single day use roar of time to pause your timer of the incense to get more spawns more duration of your incense but again hopefully you have a dialga with roar of time you also need dialga candy and you also need some stardust too to keep on doing that every single day but also do remember guys there is another new shiny legendary pokemon and five star raids and that is the fighting type pokemon zamasenta shiny zamasenta in pokemon go looks like this it is a very good pink shiny it looks amazing so here is a raid guide from leak duck pretty good stuff here the stats are mentioned for zamasenta hundo ivs are the same as zashian 2188 2735 when weather boosted it does get weather boosted by cloudy weather and it is weak to fairy types flying types and psychic type pokemon and some pretty good counters you guys can use up against zamasenta mega rayquaza for sure a regular rayquaza mewtwo definitely tapu lele uh dust main necrozma and enamorous are going to be very good counters to use up against zamasenta 
and again just like zashian zamasensa is only in raids for about a week so get it while you can and also i should mention because i had some people ask me this too the shiny gala birds are permanent in pokemon go they are not just only for this event from the 4th to the 11th they are going to be a permanent shiny release in the game from now on so yeah if you guys have any questions or if you guys get a shiny of the gala birds let me know in the comments below let me know which one and also let me know how many pokeballs it took you guys to catch that shiny gala bird so yeah you don't need to use a master ball on a shiny gala bird i guess i would only do that if you're super low on pokeballs and you don't have any coins in your shop to buy more pokeballs then that would be the time where you would just have to use the master ball because otherwise it's obviously going to despawn so yeah let me know in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed drop a like on the video subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one peace